Welcome to Podcast in Progress. I'm your host, Charlie Deist, here to save you time, money, and precious effort getting your voice to stand out from all the noise. Hey, what's up, my podcasting people? Charlie Deist here with the Podcast in Progress, introducing my new podcasting second brain template built in Notion. If you're not using Notion as a podcaster, I can tell you that you are missing out. What are you missing out on? Well, Notion is an all-in-one workspace and no-code tool. It provides a great balance between sort of structure on the one hand and the ability to add your own customization for whatever workflows you have. And I've found that it enables me to finish my work and get outside. This is what I use both for my personal podcast as well as with my clients to help keep track of where things stand, both within the broader guest calendar and then within an individual episode how things are progressing from one task to the next. The basic template of this second brain is you've got your master guest list, which features different views for where a guest lands in the progression from your idea phase all the way through to completion. It also has a recording calendar and a broadcast calendar so you can keep track of when things are coming up, both the interviews and the releases. And it also has a little priorities page where you can sort guests into high, medium, or low priority. So let's just take an example of a guest here. Come into guest number two. Let's say that I just booked uh, Jack LaLanne. He's no longer living, but I would have loved the privilege to interview him. Now, right now we're looking at this card in side view. We could also open it up into full view if we want to just focus on this episode. And we see different options here in the page. Basic workflow is the one that you want to start with. And this will populate your to-do list with another Kanban sorting of not started through in progress all the way to done. Now we could start to write out our checklist from scratch here, but I've created a button for the default tasks that I have for each episode. And these might roughly map onto yours, or you might need to go in and kind of customize this button. So when I click this button, it automatically creates a new card linked to this episode, Jack LaLanne. I have this button set up so that every new to-do list automatically is related to the property for a particular show. So I'm linking these two databases, my to-do list with my master guest list, so that I can associate these tasks with the specific guest, not just the generic podcast. So now if I come back to my dashboard, you'll see that these to-dos have been populated underneath this little toggle related to a particular show for this guest. Now coming back in here, we've got these six items that I need to get done before I can consider this podcast finished. First, we've got inviting the guest. This one, we could open up to some templates here, um, my invite template or my calendar invite, and just some reminders about how to structure this, how to make sure that it's going to be a win for the guest, and making sure that we're also making some kind of a concrete ask of our guest, whether that's just appearing on the show or maybe something bigger in terms of a partnership or promotional strategy. After we've invited the guest, we can move that over into the done column. And next, it's time to outline our topics. So as soon as this is in progress, mark that off. I'm going to click the show outline template. This provides you with a space to organize some of your interview questions. And I also am playing around with some of these AI prompt buttons where I can, for example, create a bio for my guest just by inserting their name here pressing generate, and it's going to give me a little bit of a bio that I can use, save myself a Google search. And then below here, place to write out our interview questions and insert links to any resources. Maybe I saw a tweet that was related to the show. I can just take the link to that tweet, paste it in here and embed it. And it becomes a block that I can see. I don't have to be bouncing all around and opening up browser tabs while I'm in the interview. I just open up my show notes and I'm focused, I'm in the zone, and I'm present to my guest. So once we're done outlining our show topics, it's time to record. And for this, I like to set out a little checklist to remind myself how to make sure that I'm getting the most audio quality as possible, from choosing a quiet, distraction-free location to turning my phone on Do Not Disturb, I've had it vibrate a couple times, and all those little things that just give it that air of professionalism having water and your notes handy, and then confirming that your recording equipment is all working. After we've recorded our show, we can go ahead and edit our audio and video. 
This, I imagine most people kind of have their own process. So you can create your own checklist here, uh, at, but just by editing the template for editing audio and video and adding whatever checklist items you need. Now this next one, ordering a transcript and producing your show notes is kind of the core of my system. Uh, I use the transcript as a foundation for my show notes. And so the way I have this page structured is a set of AI prompts that will run off of a transcript. And I've got a transcript preloaded here. This one came from otter.ai, but you can use any number of services to get your podcast transcribed. And if you paste this down here, then you can use these prompts to do things like pull out compelling quotes. So here we go. AI is remarkably good at just finding the little highlights from this episode. And I can use these to remember, what did we talk about? What was this episode really about? What was the big idea here? And from that big idea, I can start to generate my show notes. Uh, I can start to write bullet point summaries or uh, integrate SEO keywords. And uh, I can even generate a little 250 word podcast description that includes the five SEO optimized keynotes here. So this isn't meant to be a final draft. This is just something to get you started so that you can then edit it and saves you a little bit of time so that you can go outside. So after we've produced our show notes, it's time to publish to whatever platforms we are on, whether that's just a podcast directory that we spit out through some sort of hosting service like Podbean. Uh, in my case, I also tend to post articles to Medium and I like to put out a little tweet thread. So I've got some templates for publishing socials and these are in a different database. So I link to this database here and I can create my default social assets. So if I click into the podcast, and then click podcast. This is where I can paste from the show notes, whatever I had written out for my show notes, uh, for the tweet thread, same thing. And once those things are all aggregated, then I know I'm ready to launch these all in a coordinated fashion, get them all out the door at one time. And then I get to take that satisfying step of moving this episode into the published category. And it's no longer a podcast of progress. It is a published podcast. So I hope you like this template, and since it's still in beta, I'm giving it away for free, but I'm very curious to hear your feedback and see how it works with your brain uh, as a second brain. Uh, is it helpful? Is it too complicated? What modifications are you making for your workflow? Let me know in the comments, and be sure to like and subscribe. 